Yeah, it's another HTUC slash how to use encounter video. You may be wondering, why is this one about King Crimson? I don't use King Crimson. Well, uh, that's the only thing that someone recommended. Speaking of which, if you want to recommend the next HTUC video idea or any kind of video idea, then join my lame Discord that no one has talked in for a really long time and give me some video ideas. Also, um, I'm looking for staff, please. And it would be really nice if you had prior experience. I think all the other staff members quit Discord or, or something. I should stop whispering and just get on with the rest of the video. Hey, this is a series where you'll learn everything you need to know about the Roblox game of Bizarre Day. From origin history to combos and matchups, we have everything here on this mini-series. Welcome to HTUC, otherwise known as How to Use and Counter. I got one request on this stand, so I've decided to do one on King Crimson. Thank you, number 2035. Thank you. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe as these videos do take a long time to make. All info came from the ABD wiki for some combos, participating in 1v1s, spectating 1v1s, the ABD discord, and the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure fandom wiki. This is a beginner's guide or a refresh guide for pros. You will not become a pro instantly. It takes practice. Also, please keep in mind I am a samurai main. <laughs> King Crimson is a stand used by the user Diablo in Vento Aro. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry, please don't attack me. It has a substand ability, Eptop, which was mostly introduced by Vinegar Doppio, or the antagonist of the story. Its first full appearance was in chapter 516 of the Weekly Shonen Jump issue. King Crimson has the ability to erase a frame of time for up to 10 seconds during the time when time is erased. Other people will not be able to experience anything that happened or retain any memories of what happened either. King Crimson can also predict the future, making it a very strong stand until, well, until Giorno said, no you. To obtain King Crimson, you must first have King Crimson Doppio, which is a relatively common stand from an arrow. Use a frog on that and you get two arm Doppio. Use another frog on two armed Doppio, and you will get King Crimson, with a very small chance to get Manga King Crimson, one of the most valued stands in the game. An alternate variation of King Crimson. Frogs have a 20% chance of spawning every 10 minutes in your server. Now we'll go over some strengths and weaknesses about King Crimson. Some strengths will be very good damage. It has great ragdoll combos. It can infinite the user if they can't get out of the first few hits. Very, very low cooldowns. Very good movement options and escape options. Eptop. Literally just Eptop. Some weaknesses would be horrible defense. It makes me want to cry in the corner of a room. Low range. Having Manga King Crimson makes your trade requests go from 0 to 100. <sighs> now, I don't have Manga King Crimson, but to all the MKCs out there, I am sorry to the player's behalf for always chasing you for trades, then killing you if you don't accept. <laughs> Now, King Crimson has a lot of combos, just like Shadow the World. So in this one, I'll be going over one easy combo, one medium combo, and one hard combo. Most people allow time erase in 1v1s, so I'll be putting some combos with time erase. I'll be saying V or Y or any of the letters instead of the actual moves, since if I said all of the moves in my combos, it might be a little complicated. And if you came here to learn how to use King Crimson combos, you probably know what moves do what. Decently good for approaching as V sends you 5 to 7 studs forward for a surprise attack. Requires a bit more keys to press, but still deals an incredible amount of damage. However, it can be quite unreliable because if you miss your mighty finisher, it will be on cooldown for a really long time. This is a very powerful combo that can bring almost any stand to very low health or kill them. 
Its low range is a bit of a setback, but if you manage to hit the first Y, you will be in a massive advantage state. Oh, he died before I could finish the combo. Rip. Now, we'll go over a certain situation that happened in one of my 1v1s. In this particular match, I'm facing a Cars user. Now, the Cars walks straight up to me in barrages, so I immediately press T and Eptop. Most people forget that King Crimson can actually cancel Eptop quickly by pressing T again. Now, in this particular situation, this person must know that Eptop can be cancelled and starts backing up. However, I cancel Eptop, teleport forward, and roll, then go for the counterattack. A much safer move the cars could have used to escape rather than walk away would have been to dash away. Now, King Crimson has quite a lot of weaknesses, and these are some ways to counter him. 1. Take advantage of its low range with projectiles. 2. When the King Crimson uses Tamaris, make sure to block. Blocking will save you from dying at below half HP usually from Mighty Finisher. Yes, you can stand jump and roll away, but if you didn't know, King Crimson can also stand jump and roll during timer race. 3. Be wary of Epitaph. There is no animation if a user cancels Epitaph, so one of the safest options would be to go as far away as possible and start using projectiles. Not knowing Epitaph is active and rushing in may cause you to lose the match. 4. Whiff Punishing is not very effective on King Crimson as it can throw many moves at once without much end lag on each move. We'll talk about matchups against popular stands in standard 1v1 rules and see how they play out, meaning no time stop. The stand has no range and neither does King Crimson, so you will have to get up close and personal, brother. Ooh, scary. However, King Crimson has a passive where if you time erase for less than 5 seconds, the cooldown for the next time erase is reduced by 50%, meaning that instead of a 20 second cooldown, it's 10 seconds. So try to keep your time erases below 5 seconds if possible, and use Mighty Finisher during that frame of time if possible. Getting in close range with this stand can be very, very dangerous. Try to outplay the RSPOH with teleport or roll, and try to start a ragdoll combo if time erase is not available but you still need to attack. Basically, play smart and use your Epta very carefully. Retro the World Over Heaven is literally just RSPOH with knives basically, so just watch out for knives. Besides that, nothing much to add. I'll probably say that every video. Mm -hmm. The F plus E stand. Everyone hates it, and everyone that uses it hates it. Well, at least the ones I asked said they hate using it. The stand is quite scary to King Crimson, but if you know what you are doing, you should be fine. First off, be very wary of its projectiles. Its projectiles are slow but deadly. With King Crimson's teleport, you should be able to dodge them well. I usually start the match immediately with time erase because the time erase is immediately cancelled by Gur, lasting only around 0.5 seconds which makes it a 10 second cooldown for the next time erase, not 20 seconds because of its passives. There is a 15 second cooldown between each T TS or TE cancel from Gur, meaning you have enough time to do another time erase. The Gur might rush and end the match before you can do the next time erase though. You can use Eptot during Gur F, which is actually broken. Gur and Over Heaven stands are supposed to bypass Eptot, However, you cannot get hit by Barrage with Epita on. You know what? I think it's better if I just show you this, than write another paragraph about this. <laughs> I'll probably say this on the future HTUC videos too, but... Many of these matchups heavily depend on whether the King Crimson user is very experienced and skilled or not. They can also be false if the opponent knows what they are doing. Make sure to adapt to how your opponents play and choose your best options from there, such as how do they move, do they dash or roll frequently, what about counters and stand jumps. As I said before, this is a beginner's guide for how to use and counter Crimson. To find out more, you should do research yourself and do 1v1s. The ABD community is usually very nice enough to do 1v1s and help you in their Discord server about stand strategies. Oh wait, they... They deleted the stand strategies channel in their Discord. Please bring it back, that was, that was one of my favorite 
channels I could talk to people about how to do like 1v1s one and stuff, you know? If you enjoyed this type of video, please do remember to like and subscribe for more future videos like these. These videos do take a surprisingly large amount of time to make. Be sure to give me suggestions in the comments or on my Discord for the next how to use encounter. Or any video idea, it doesn't have to be a HTUC video. Have a nice day and goodbye.